Android phone, iPhone, piece of shit. This old phone is a PC now, kinda. You'll see what I mean. Getting here was a long and painful path I recommend no one else should attempt. So watch me go through this whole ordeal. The phone we're using is a Samsung Galaxy S9. You can pause the video to view the specs. Not the strongest of phones, but still very usable to be honest. Granted, this one in particular has seen better days, but this is a statement I think you're gonna hear a lot in this channel. And the devices aren't the only thing where that will apply. We're gonna use a PC emulator on this device. Limbo x86 will be our pick. Not that Android phones are oversaturated with PC emulators anyway. And my first OS of choice was Tiny7. But this phone was a Tiny7's phone of choice, so I picked a lighter alternative with the humble name of Windows 7 Super Nano Lite. I was honestly very optimistic, and like my parents with me, I have been disappointed. Despite this file actually being fully prepared for Limbo x86, it just didn't seem to want to work. Desperate and seemingly out of options, I was thinking of alternatives, and with the extremely lightweight version of a 15 year old OS not working, I thought, why don't we try it with a later, more resource hungry option, Windows 10. Windows 10 Extreme Edition, to be more accurate, because it was indeed extreme extremely painful to deal with. So that's why everyone calls me not Josh Extreme Edition. With optimism, I followed the guide on the archive page, set everything up and it was stuck on the Windows logo for a long, long time. And I thought, hey, it's probably because the emulator is slow and it turned out that I had to disable this option for Windows 10 to even have a chance to boot. Yes! Why was I even screaming? That was me retrospectively describing everything. And after yet again spending a really long time with the splash screen, did I realize that this thing really is slow. And after waiting and waiting, we actually went past the splash screen. We were on the user screen. And what do you know, waiting here took just as long. This gave me a lot of time to reflect on everything, about the choices I've made. And I thought of giving up. Then I realized I have quit many things. Gambling wasn't one of here, I was determined to actually finish what I started, and after waiting longer than it takes to climb the ladder in Metal Gear Solid 3, we were actually inside of Windows 10, fully capable of using it. So many opportunities. That's what I thought about a CS degree too. I noticed some familiar looking name and decided I'd try to launch Opera, which after yet another long wait time, actually launched. There was an issue though, we couldn't do anything, as I forgot to enable the network driver for this virtual machine and enabling it would mean going through this whole pain again. So I decided to try out other things that don't require a connection to the interconnected network. I tried to just open the explorer and I think you will start to see a pattern here because even opening the explorer took longer than a phone call with my shrink and with even the explorer pushing it I decided that it was enough for me and I called it quits. And I have to say, despite my seemingly negative stance towards this whole project, I actually really enjoyed this whole process. And now if you'd excuse me, I have to pick up my girlfriend who I know cheats on me.